Manchester United has got a plan in place to replace Rafael Varane, who is moving on in the summer, as confirmed by himself and the club. Welcome to the United Hot Spot. Here is a wrap-up of all Manchester United news today. It has been a busy day. I think the biggest story was the confirmation of what we perhaps already knew as the clear-out starts by Ineos, with Rafael Varane being the first to be confirmed officially to leave the club in the summer. Now, the reports that are coming through do suggest from a credible source in Chris Wheeler, he's a journalist who follows Manchester United closely, he says that United are preparing a £55 million bid for Jared Brathwaite, uh, Brathwaite from Everton, that uh, is a centre-back, 21-year-old, who Manchester United has been linked with for quite some time now. He's left-footed, and uh, you might wonder, is he now coming in to replace Rafael Varen? Are they bringing a left-footed centre-back to replace Varen? Or will he be coming in with them having at the back of their minds that they could let go of Lissandro Martinez as, as well and replace him uh, you know, with, with Brathwaite? Because it's, it, it doesn't seem usual that you would say a club like Manchester United go for two left-footed centre-backs. So, of course, now that is a detail we can go into later. But uh, it has been said that United are putting together £55 million bid. Now, that's quite a lot of money. But it shows you how expensive this boy is. He was uh, priced at about uh, 70 million by some, saying Everton would want about 70 million or thereabout. But 55 with his standards, he's British. Obviously, you think uh, that is a that would be a bargain for Manchester United, wouldn't it? Now, uh, as Manchester United prepare that, and as they do go on with their plans for uh, the summer in terms of players they bring in. Meanwhile, they are also talking to more. We spoke to uh, we spoke about Bruno Fernandes, who has been reportedly unsettled lately uh, because the club was yet to approach him and give him proper proper assurance that they do need him to stay and he was uncertain about his future now according to david onstein he reports that uh, manchester united earlier this week had a meeting with bruno fernandez representatives and they assured them of how important he is to the project and how they want him to stay so and Bruno himself also said the feeling is mutual, so he also wants to stay. So all uh, reports linking him to Barcelona, Bayern Munich, Saudi Arabia might be held, held, uh, you know, halted for a bit. However, it is still reported that uh, if a good offer comes, Ineos might be willing to listen. I think there is a certain level of desperacy for cash when it comes to Man United. So that's a bit of what's coming through concerning Bruno Fernandes. But of course, you will be happy about the news now that at least he has been given assurances by Ineos that is an important player who they would prefer to stay around as they do rebuild the project. Again, uh, more of course news for you coming through from Manchester United is that Casemiro is attracting interest, co continuously attracting more and more interest from Saudi clubs as several of them have actually been interested in him from as early as October last year and they are still intent on trying to lure him uh, to not stay in Europe but uh, if he leaves or when he leaves Manchester United which is most likely going to be the case uh, he should go and join them. So reports suggest that again most Saudi clubs are focused on United players. I think you love to see it now because in the last summer transfer window, we are desperate for some offers from, you know, Saudi for our players, but none of them was, was attracting any. I think if it's happening now, as we go into a, another summer transfer window of desperacy, where we are in a sell-to-buy situation, you think it's a good thing because we know that in Saudi is where the cash is. Chelsea will know more about that. Again, uh, continuing, of course, stock Manchester United, Rasmus Hoyland has got the full backing of Eric Ten Hag, uh, who has come out to say in the pre-match press conference before the uh, Newcastle game, uh, Ten Hag saying that uh, Rasmus Hoyland, uh, you know, will score goals. They know his capability. They know how much, how capable he is. Uh, but uh, they believe it will take some bit of time for him to pick the consistency. But the 14 goals that uh, he has scored in all competitions this uh, a season for Manchester United show how good he is. They show how capable he is. Eight of those come in the Premier League. Never mind him having a dry spell. Uh, so uh, he's being backed by Eric Ten Hag. I don't like the approach. In, whereas I like the fact that Ten Hag is backing Rasmus Hoyland, I don't think he's doing it right because uh, I think for me the first thing Eric Ten Hag should be saying is that this boy is not getting enough service. If he gets more service, he will be scoring more goals. That's for me what I would call proper backing of Eric of, of, of Rasmus Hoyland. But uh, anyhow, you love the fact that, uh, of course, uh, there's big confidence in him and what he can do and uh, how, how good a player he is uh, for 
uh, Manchester United. That's the boss, at least Eric Ten Hag. Now, uh, again, uh, moving on, of course, talking Manchester United, uh, there is a uh, 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 Lisandro Martinez, uh, I think, has been another impressive uh, update. Lisandro Martinez being available for selection. It is expected that he will start the game against Newcastle United. And uh, of course, there are some people who suggest that he should be kept for the FA Cup final. My feeling is that would be wrong because you don't want to have a player who has not played for nearly a month or two, nearly two months uh, to just return against a big team like Man City, where you know you saw how they were you know making spurs half and puff. Uh, so you probably think uh, you want him to get some bit of minutes and and uh, be able to 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 I think test himself before he gets into the real one. So uh, Alessandro Martinez is most likely going to be starting against uh, against Newcastle United. Uh, who, by the way, have a player who has been in such in such a way linked to Manchester United in Alexander Isak. I am not sure Isak would come and join Manchester United as a backup. I think that would be insane of him. Uh, he's just one goal shy of becoming the record goal scorer from Sweden in the Premier League, beating Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Certainly will score that goal perhaps before the end of the season. Just a goal is what he needs. But uh, that's Isak for you, who has been in a certain reports have come out. Uh, of course, like we know so many players are always linked with Manchester United. So Isak as well, uh, who is my uh, son's favorite player, by the way, uh, has been linked to uh, Manchester United. I don't think, honestly, we'll get him. I, don't, I, I think Newcastle wouldn't sell him to United anyway. But I also don't think he's the kind of the profile of a player we need because Isak is a proper bowler, a, a proper, pro, proper a starter. He can't come to be backing up Rasmus Hoyland. It wouldn't make sense at all. Uh, so those are uh, a bit of, you know, uh, some of the, of the stories making rounds, uh, that made rounds around Manchester United uh, earlier on today. Marcus Rashford too, I told you he's, he's expected to return together with Bruno for the Newcastle game. So let's wait and see whether tomorrow they will be in the squad. Of course, there are certain players who've been th thinking would have returned, but in the, la in the last minute, they are, you know, dropped uh, out of the squad, perhaps because Eric Ten Hag, like, continuously says he doesn't want to risk the players. But, yeah, uh, that's uh, exactly uh, what's happening at uh, Manchester United. Now, more, of course, transfer talk is going to be coming your way uh, very soon because there are so many, so many things going on. I think more departures will be confirmed. Anthony Marshall, for example, uh, that's another departure that should be confirmed. I think it was nearly confirmed. But, again, you will get uh, the official confirmation from the website very soon. On Marshall and his departure, I expect Christian Eriksen. I think uh, uh, these are, uh, are players who will clearly uh, come out and, of course, uh, give statements soon. Christian Eriksen as well. I, I Casemiro, Casemiro as well. I think after the FA Cup final, probably, but uh, Casemiro as well. I think uh, we'll get some, uh, you know, reports about his future. But what's important now is that much in your are now. Uh, beginning to get ideas of where the money is going to come from. That's why they are now we are getting these leaks that they are putting together certain amounts of money to bid for players. At least the sources are clear now. They know they have an idea of where they are going to you know uh, get the money from. I'm sure there are certain players they already know they are going to sell and where they are going to sell them and for how much. Uh, because before we go to we get into the window, before that already the talks have gone on with some of the clubs that would be interested in your players before formal bids are put in. So I expect uh, some. A bit of you know a progress when it comes to uh, Manchester United and uh, the summer transfers way early into the transfer window. So hope that it's all going to be good. That's why I do implore you to subscribe, share, like these videos, join the channel, and become a member so that we keep growing together. My name is Webb. This is the United Hotspot. I will catch you again later. That was a news wrap for signing Manchester United.